welcome back at Admirals. We hope everyone had a great weekend. Today on WFMS, we have some reminders and dates to be aware of as we begin our week. The D&D and Yoke Club will be meeting tomorrow. Fellowship of Christian Athletes and our board games and chess clubs will be meeting tomorrow. Kings for Christ will meet on Wednesday. We have just one quick sports update for you today. The teacher superlative and book donation deadlines are approaching fast. We have another Black History Month bio for you today. Are you an 8th grader wanting to go on the 8th grade trip this year? The WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm Gracie. And I'm Nora. Welcome to your home for news announcements. And more on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. Now for some club reminders. FCA, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, will have their meeting tomorrow in the Studio Theater from 750 to 820. There will be games, activities, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. We hope to see you there. TFC, Teens of Christ, will have their next meeting this Wednesday in the Studio Theater from 7.50 to 8.20. There will be games, activities, donuts, and a weekly Bible study. We hope to see you there. Do you enjoy a good board game? The Board Game and Chess Club will be meeting tomorrow afternoon in Mrs. Link's room in Navy Pod Room 212 from 3.45 to 4.30. Please make sure your ride home is promptly here at 4.30. See you then. If you attend the Yoke Club, please remember we will have our next Yoke meeting tomorrow night. Remember that the Yoke Club meeting will be at 7 p.m. in the FMS School Cafeteria. We hope to see you there. D&D members, listen up. We want to remind you that you will not be meeting tomorrow afternoon. Your next meeting will be March 5th. Please make sure your parents are aware. FMS Honor Society is partnering with the FA Chess Book Club to donate books to Friends of Literacy. Books can be dropped off in the front under the Students of the Semester wall now until March 1st. Also, we have a high need for children's books. And that's not all. We will be offering raffle tickets for the number of books turned in by a student. We will do drawings for prizes. The raffle will run through the end of February. We have a message from our yearbook staff. We need your votes, Admirals. It's time for our teacher superlatives, and we need those votes in by March 1st, which will be here before you know it. So here's how you can cast your vote. Attention all 8th graders attending the 8th grade trip to Washington, D.C. in Williamsburg. There will be a mandatory student meeting on Monday, the February 26th, in the cafeteria at 2.30. Report to your 6th period, then head to the cafeteria. We will be selecting roommates and going over the trip guidelines, so you really need to be there. You cannot sign up your friends for a room. Every student must sign their own name on the room list. See you there. Any questions, see Mr. Cheneau in Blue A144. Lastly, 8th grade superlative winners, listen up. We will be taking superlative pictures this morning at 1045, and you will need to report to the library at, at that time. And in case you don't know who you are, take a look at this. FMS 8th grade superlatives. Most athletic boy, Braylon Gibbs. Most athletic girl, Libby Slagle. Best smile boy, Eric Berkovitz. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Best smile, Kate Fowler. Social Butterfly Boy, Anderson Glover. Social Butterfly Girl, Kylie Vickers. Most likely to become a celebrity boy, Sawyer McAvoy. Most likely to become a celebrity girl, Kaylee Mayo. Most creative, Tiana Dew. Most creative boy, Leo Rainey. Best hair boy, Colton Liner. Best hair girl, Mackenzie Shelby. Most caring girl, Catherine Buchanan. Woo! Most caring boy, Brock Allen. Woo! 
funniest boy, Delmore McGill. Funniest girl, Tatum Williams. Most Riz boy, Brooks Johnston. Most Riz girl, Layla Dixon. And finally, Mr. and Mrs. FMS. Congratulations to all of our 8th grade superlative winners. Don't forget, 1045 in the library for pictures. That's it for announcements. Now for a Black History Month bio segment. Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Connor. Now for today's Black History Month bio. Today, our Black History Month bio focuses, focuses on Kevin Beasley, who was born in 1985. Kevin Beasley is a sculptor and sound artist based on in New York who creates really interesting, <clears throat> interactive installations that incorporate elements of music, performance, and sculpture. His work often explores themes of race and power, and he's known for his use of found objects and unconventional materials like foam and resin. He's had solo exhibitions at some of the biggest art institutions in the world, from the Whitney Museum of American Art to the Hammer Museum in Los Angeles. That's it for our Black History Month bio, and we have just one short sports blip. We want to let you know that we continue to monitor baseball schedules and games. Yep, and at this time we don't have any scores or scheduling to report, but stay tuned for scores and schedules later this week. Now back to the news desk for our morning corny and closing. Now for a morning corny as we close the broadcast today. Hey Nora, have you ever wondered how a rancher keeps track of his cattle? No, I haven't. How does he keep track? With a calculator. Oh, okay, that's a good one. Funny. Okay, well, I bet you don't know where those cows go on Friday nights. No, I don't. Where do they go? They go to the movies. Okay, okay, that's good. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admiral's News Network. We hope you have a great day. And evening. Make good choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And, and we, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.